Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and I'm gonna show you how to get quick to the finish line with a sous vide steak. I chose ribeye steak, because that's one of my very favorites. I always target to get steaks at least one inch thick when I do sous vide, and you'll still protect the exact temperature you wanted of your beef. I like mine medium rare. To get to the finish line quick, I put warm water in my container that I'm gonna put my sous vide in. Don't worry about the exact temperature because a sous vide will keep it at a steady constant temperature. You just don't want it warmer than what you need. For a medium rare steak, I need 130 degrees. So put in your device and plug her in. Power on and set your temp. I'm going to Fahrenheit and I'm bringing this down to 130 degrees. That's what I want. My lukewarm water was only at 104 degrees, but it's not gonna take long to bring it up to 130. Washer Seam sponsored this video and I'm so glad they did because they have everything I need to make a quick sous vide recipe. I'm now pouring in these little balls and this is gonna help insulate my water. No matter what temperature is outside, the balls help insulate so I can keep more of a constant temperature and without a lot of evaporation for a more consistent, quick finish. My recipe today is salt, pepper, and rosemary. So I generously salt my meat and add some pepper and then rub it in. Flip, and let's do the other side. Salt and pepper. And rub. And I like to sprinkle on rosemary. So I just cut it up and add it on. These are the aromatics today. And into my baggie it goes. They each get their own. I'm doing the water immersion method to get all the air out. And let me show you how you do that. So you drop it in the water with your Ziploc bag and you will see the air is coming out. It's pushing all that air out. Look at that. That's what you need. The air comes up. And you keep pushing your bag until you get the zippy with no water to the line. You see that? Now I close it just like that. I did not need to buy one of those vacuum sealers. I did it myself. Down she goes. One more time. Air out, close her up. They need to move around so they're not touching each other. They need to maintain their separation for this part of the recipe. So by having that water warm when we started, during that prep time, it's already gotten hot enough to cook. I'm gonna let that cook now for one hour for a perfect medium rare steak that's a little bit over one inch. You can eyeball it. And for extra insulation, I've got one of these plastic covers. Check this out. It's a stretchy, clingy cover to furthermore reduce the evaporation and maintain a consistent heat. It's great for efficiency with your electricity. And it fits like a glove and makes it so nothing evaporates. Washer Seam makes all kinds of kitchen equipment and they are the masters of the best high-tech sous vide systems on the market. Set your timer for an hour and you're good to go. We've got five minutes to go. Let's get our pan hot. Does timing matter? Yes. If you have your steak cook four, five, six hours, eh, it's not gonna be the same juiciness and tenderness and the same quality as a shorter cooked steak. So you need to know the range. I will let my steaks hold for an hour in a sous vide. That way, if I'm having a dinner party, my guests have time to get settled and then I can serve them dinner by just a quick flash fry before I present the food. But I wouldn't wanna go three or four hours. <laughs> Bing, it's ready. Yay. Power off. Take her out. I see smoke. It's time to put them in. So cut open your bags and down they go. Turn the heat on high and cook each side for only 30 seconds. Time to flip. Time to take them out. And now you need to let them rest for five minutes, otherwise the juices will flow out and it'll be a little dry. So with those five minutes, you might wanna make your spud ready. <laughs> a little better. And sour cream. Oh yeah. Let's open her up. Wow. See, that's perfectly medium rare. That looks delicious. When you make a steak sous vide, you find that the medium rare is almost completely from edge to edge. The only brown you have is the part that's seared in your pan. 
The muscle fibers in your sous vide steak are smooth and they're still full of delicious beefy juice. They're even softer and more tender because your steak has had time to relax in that slow sous vide cooking method. The fat is soft and tender and not gristle because you've allowed the steak to relax while you cooked it slow. Gristle results when you cook it fast and the steak freezes up. Time for the bite. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's the most tender of steaks. That's better than anything at a steakhouse and you've made it at home. Click the link below and check out that Wasserstein sous vide. It's the best. And they have all those extra devices to make your sous vide recipe fantastic. We shall not forget about the spud. <laughs> He's great too. I'm Rebecca Brand, subscribe to my channel, and let's keep making great recipes in the kitchen, like sous vide. Bye! <laughs>